Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. We are working on a Husqvarna tractor today. This is a YTH22V46. Now what that means is a 22 horsepower, 46 inch mower deck. Just want to show you how I operate it. So if you guys have any questions, this should help you. First thing you want to do is check the oil. This is a 22 horsepower Intec V-Twin Briggs & Stratton engine. Pretty good engines through the years. I like them, they're, they're fine. All right, dipstick is here. You're gonna pull the dipstick out. You're gonna wipe it off. Make sure you wipe it off. Don't just look at it and just think it's okay. You have two dots here. Now you do have to look at, you have um, two little nubbies right here and one little guy right there. You have two cut, you have two cut out there and a one little cut out there, a little slot there. Just make sure you get them in the right spots because I have seen people actually put these in wrong and then they get stuck. So you make sure that doesn't happen. Pull it out, make sure you're in between the dots, which this is. Put it back in. Fuel tank is here, gas cap is there. Just make sure you have enough gas to run your machine. As far as starting it up, let's go over some controls here. We have the deck height lever, which is here. Pretty much just pull it out, up and down on your deck height. Just put it in whatever height that you want. You have a brake slash clutch pedal here. You have your throttle here. Now this one actually has a turtle and a rabbit. And then up here, this is for choke position. This is for when you want to start the, the tractor up. So you want to put it all the way up in choke and hold it there until the tractor starts and then bring it down, usually into a medium throttle. Just let it warm up for a few minutes here. You have a parking brake here. When you want to put the parking brake on, you want to make sure you push the clutch pedal, which is the clutch pedal. And I just call it the clutch pedal because back in the day, we used to have um, non-hydrostatic transmissions, but this is a clutch slash brake. So when you put the brake pedal and your clutch in at the same time, this is going to disengage the hydro and also put the brake on. You're going to push it all the way in, push this lever up, and then let go of the pedal. Then let go of the, the handle and that'll lock it into park. I always leave it in park for when I start the machine up, or you can just hold the brake pedal in. Put all your pump choke and then crank it up. Now, do you have a light switch up here for on and off for the lights? You have a nice little feature up here, which is the hour meter, and that's just for basic maintenance. It'll tell you how many hours is on your machine. Our key ignition switch is here. We have stop. We have the reverse lockout for cutting in, in reverse, which is a nice feature. And then you have on, and then you have crank, which is over here. We're gonna take this outside and I'm gonna show you how to cut in reverse after a minute. Okay, you have your pedals down here. And I did forget, let's back up one moment. This is the blade engagement lever right here. You're just gonna engage it. That's on, this is off. If you guys ever run out of gas and the engine just shuts off, you fill it out with gas and you wonder why it won't start. One of the one of the, um, big problems I've seen with people is that they leave this on and they forget to take it off. So just remember that has to be all the way in the off position or it will not start. You have your two pedals down here for your hydro. You have forward and reverse. And you cannot cut in reverse unless you have this ignition switch at a certain spot. But I'm going to start the machine up right now. Uh, I do actually, have, I missed one lever. We have a lever down here. This is actually cruise control. And we'll take this outside and show you how to use a cruise control also. Okay, so as far as starting the machine up, I do have my emergency brake on. So you want to make sure your clutch pedal slash brake pedal is all, all the way in. Make sure it's all the way up on choke. As soon as it starts, I normally bring it back down to a, like a slow speed, just to let it warm up. Now, depending on where you live, and like right now, it's pretty cold where we are, we may need a little bit, a little bit more choke to get it started. So I'll leave it up there for a couple seconds and then bring it down. And you usually just leave it there for a little bit, to warm it up. And then you have to take your push your clutch or your brake pedal in, and then you release that handle there. Now that one you just automatic. That one just uh, pop down by itself. Some of them do it by themselves, some of them you actually have to push that, that handle down. If you do want to get off the tractor, push the brake in, pull the brake pedal up. Now, as long as you don't have the blade engaged, you can get off your tractor and it will stay running. Okay, so you have to get in your yard do something, but you have to have the brake in. And I also have to have your power takeoff in the off position. So I'm going to take this outside right now and then we're going to go over how to cut the reverse and also use the cruise control right back. Okay, so we're outside. I'm just going to show you how to start it one more time. Emergency brake in. I'm just going to leave my foot on it this time. All the way up on choke. Down off the choke. Now as far as the cruise control goes, this is pretty self-explanatory as far as uh, I can do this. Alright, so forward and then you lift this up. Okay, so let's say you're cut and you want to just control lift that up now it'll keep you going i'm not doing it at fast speed but that's pretty much cruise control then you tap the pedal once just to forward and it'll stop okay you go back you can also tap the emergency brake on the brake slash touch, 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 touch. okay so i'm going to show you one 
one more time for the handle up on cruise control. One more thing I do want to show you, if you ever need to push the tractor, come around to the back of the tractor and there's a rod right here, okay? This rod enables you to push a tractor easily. Now right now, it's a little bit tricky. You can push it, but it's not recommended because you can hurt the transmission. So you want to pull the rod all the way out, make sure your emergency brake is off. You can push the tractor very easily this way. Just remember, if you're going somewhere to push this rod back in again after you get where you're going or the pedals in the front the forward and reverse pedals will not work so just make sure you have this in but obviously the reason why this is here is because you should always have it out if you have to push the tractor do not push the tractor with this engaged it's not good for the hydro transmission i think that pretty much sums it up for the how to operate the husqvarna yth 22 v46 if you have any comments please leave them below if you like the video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and please subscribe